Alrighty. Uh, I had to take care of some financial stuff this morning. So yes, I've been interrupted from doing a translation of the, the Egyptian documents to restore the Torah text. <laughs> but uh, I did get to uh, tell that to Gabby uh, this morning as I was out and about. So, yeah, she was confused. She had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, but her boss gave out roses to all the employees, so that was cool. Um, uh, in dealing with matters of religion, and even culture, or political parties even, uh, people uh, cling to what they cherish. Cherish the love. And, uh, and believe in, and strongly believe in, often. And uh, and in those situations, um, people tend to overlook uh, any negative uh, that occurs in whatever tribal group they are part of, whether it's religious, political, cultural. And uh, so, yes, the Mormons are a part of this, is what I'm referring to in a general way. And so we're... We want to talk about Mormons specifically. When you bring up Mormon issues, Mormons immediately put up the Christian cross <laughs> without putting up the Christian cross. Mormons uh, usually do the lightning bolt <laughs> because of Doctrine and Covenants section 85 verse 8. And it wasn't for Mormons. Mormons have messed that all up in interpretation. It's supposed to be referring to Joseph Smith. And I've already done the video on that. I've already done the video on the inside job of the murder of Joseph Smith. Just look at when the uh, section 85 was put into the Doctrine and Covenants Mormons and no they don't tell you in the Doctrine and Covenants that's when they claim it was written by Joseph Smith when was it put in the Doctrine and Covenants that's the key thing and uh, go to Doctrine and Covenants Wikipedia uh, uh, but that's the internet. You can't trust the internet. It's all fake news. You can only trust the church. They're the only ones that see what I'm talking about. People are very defensive when others talk about their religion. And uh, uh, this is one of those. And so, yes, you'll see throughout my videos, thumbs down by the Mormons. They do not like me exposing the corruption, the crime, the abuse, the fraud, all of that stuff. And, uh, and so Mormons are, oh look, there's there's Mormon girl. Well, she married eight times now, or is it two times? So confused, Mormon myths. <laughs> and so, uh, I don't know why they're it's probably because we're in Utah so they cater to Utah audience I can only guess uh, so, they don't understand your MSNBC I'm helping you here if you have a client that wants to pay you for an advertisement for Utah on your direct TV channel <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Remember, Mormons in Utah are for the most part alt-right Republican. <laughs> they don't watch your show. <laughs> and so if you have alt-right advertisers wanting to advertise on your show, <laughs> it's not going to have any effect 
<laughs> upon your audience other than to take away from legitimate advertisers who would benefit by being advertised on your show. <laughs> Just a helpful hint if you're trying to get money from uh, people. So, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're screwing these guys over with charging them more to advertise on you. <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> I think it was John Oliver who pulled this stunt first. <laughs> Advertising to a target audience, Trump in this case. I digress <laughs> again as I always do in my videos <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, <laughs> Mormons don't like criticism they don't like hearing about uh, anything from other sources and if they're your Mormon you have to be supportive of Mormonism. You can't be trying to sneak in your alternate theory of the universe and whatever. And Mormons don't like that. They don't like anything that's perceived as a threat. And so uh, it doesn't matter if you use sound or unsound reasoning with Mormons it's all interpreted as unsound. Mormons have no clue as to what sound and unsound uh, discussion refers to. Uh, and so, yeah, it's all considered fake news to Mormons. And so they don't go to certain channels, certain sites on the internet, uh, unless they get tricked. <laughs> by a certain key words in the title <laughs> and a, a helpful thumbnail. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, then Mormons are disappointed when they're, they're found to have uh, been exposed to apostate material. And so, yeah, they, they throw out all those ad hominem, uh, apostate, antichrist, uh, anti-Mormon, you name it. And it's this, this is the same pattern, but we're focusing on Mormons. And, uh, uh, and it's, it's tough to get through to uh, people uh, who are that narrow-minded who are unable to step out of their box and look at the big picture. Uh, and uh, for uh, my suggestion is uh, make sure you go to Plato's Republic, uh, referring to the allegory of the cave. And uh, you'll understand what the big picture I'm referring to is. Uh, that was an eye-opening wow and I learned it in, in, uh, in uh, high school first and then my university up in Canada brought it up again in my philosophy and uh, and so uh, th that becomes tough for Mormons because I'm able I'm born and raised in the church I know how they think I titled a video. I know what you're thinking. I know, I know you Mormons. I think it was what it was. And uh, Mormons, uh, you know, once they start recognizing, so there's a challenge to my belief system. There's a challenge to my belief system. Red alerts go off in Mormons, and uh, they refuse to listen any further. Even if you are a long time born and raised Mormon uh, with a Mormon background, because you're now challenging their belief system. And uh, Mormons don't get it. You can use the Book of Mormon to show a Mormon that they're wrong. 
as a Mormon, you can use the Book of Mormon to show Mormons that they're wrong. And they still, no, no, I only listen to the prophets. <laughs> Any excuse to refuse to accept the truth or to refuse to accept something that contradicts their beliefs. And, uh, and that's a, a sad state of affairs for anybody in any religion, culture, government, whatever. And, uh, and so such it is with Mormons. They cannot allow anybody to challenge their beliefs. And the reason why is there's no, nothing to fall back on. They've lived their lives with belief. They have no knowledge. They've re rejected knowledge when it's presented to them, when it challenges their beliefs. And, and as a result, they've got no fruit for their defense of the Mormon church. And so, yes, Mormons are exactly like the Republican Party of Trump. Everything is fake news. Everything's a lie. If it's not saying that the Church of Jesus Christ is hugely great and it's made America great again, or the Church great again, you know, Mormons don't want to hear it. And other prophets have come out with things that Mormons have turned into uh, a wall around their heart, around their minds, uh, to keep out any truth, any facts, any evidence that goes against their belief system. And uh, maybe I should use that as a title. The LDS Mormon Wall. We'll have to think about that. But, uh, said that no, no, uh, no, that's a panelist being talked to Congress. Yeah. So yeah, there was a Hebrew translation mix-up where some people were thinking, did he just say he wants to combat Iran? <laughs> no, 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 Iran is combative. <laughs> it would be easy to tell if we were to look at the transcript. But uh, yeah. So Israel may be attacking Iran anytime soon here. Because uh, they will get Trump support, no problem. So, watch out for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, Jews are exactly the same way. You cannot challenge the Jews because they have the Torah. If it's not in the Torah, they don't listen to it. And uh, so if you're not a Jew, they don't listen to you. You're not the word. And same with Christians. If it's not from the New Testament, they're not listening to you. If you're not saying Jesus is, is God and I believe in Jesus, then they don't want to listen to you. So yes, it's the same with Mormons. And, uh, and so it's difficult to try to be a member who has broken out of that, that belief trap. And, uh, has stepped away from the chains against the wall. Plato, hello, Allegory of the Cave, and uh, comes around to see the big picture of what his life is and what was once perceived. And yes, in Plato's Allegory of the Cave, he tries to tell the people that are chained still to the rock, who still see the shadows against the wall, not knowing anything of why they're seeing just shadows. And uh, they persecute such a person who would dare tell them, hey, what you're seeing is not the big picture. It's false. It's a fraud. You're being de deceived and misled. Yeah, so it's the same thing there. And that's what Mormons are doing. Mormons are chained to the wall in their mind um, because they only believe and anything that challenges their belief, they will not break themselves free from the chains to pursue a knowledge of. 
and as a result, they lash out at anyone and everyone who challenges them. You can't judge me. We can agree to disagree. You haven't walked in my shoes. You can't challenge my religious beliefs and convictions. Yes, we can. <laughs> They're false. But they re use those lame, unsound arguments against other people who challenge them, who are a threat to them as they see it. And so that's why Mormons are putting the thumbs down and in many cases not commenting when they really would like to and they then will put the thumbs up on those who get through before I can delete them. <laughs> those who come on and abuse me, attack me, threaten me. You see, because when somebody comes with the truth to attack the truth, you guys know what that means, right? It's in scripture. <laughs> you don't attack the truth. But the question is, what is truth? And I'll tell you this, it's not your beliefs. That's not what's true. Truth is knowledge, a physical knowledge of things. If it's not a physical knowledge, you do not have the truth. You may have somebody else's information, and it may be truth, but you don't know until you confirm it for yourself. That's why the news, they're doing fact checks on Trump. You know, because if they were just believe Trump, well, the, we'd be destroyed right now, personally, but uh, nobody would be stopping him and he would be full Trump mode and we'd be in ruins right now. Uh, but instead, people challenge him and say, no, Mr. President, no. And they placate him. Here's a color drawing, Mr. President. This is what we want you to do. Oh, colors, yay. <sighs> you know he's illiterate, right? Right? Daddy paid the schools so that he can get through and took one uh, he went to college, but uh, he didn't do well. And then uh, when he was running for president, he never read from a script. They have him on video when he was in a grand jury uh, investigation or in a special counsel. I don't know what it was. It was some interrogation and it was videotaped. And uh, they asked him to read from a document. They tossed him the document. He then pushed it aside. I, 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 yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't read it because he doesn't know how to read. He's illiterate. And so when he became president, oh, look, the Russians actually did it. They pulled it off. They got me to be president. <laughs> he now has to read things. <laughs> he can't just bluff his way through it by rambling as I'm doing here <laughs> and so as a result he had to be taught how to read and uh, and so uh, yeah if you listen to his talks it's dumbed down there are not really many big words in there he knows all the big words <laughs> no he doesn't so <laughs> just understand uh, that's the case and I've veered off topic again, haven't I? And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you uh, as I go back to uh, the uh, translation. Uh, I've got uh, the missing parts that I have to put in at the beginning because, no, the Egyptian uh, Heliopolis creation glyph is not the beginning of the universe for the Egyptians and so yeah that's missing information from the Torah text because Genesis 1 1 is a different story than the creation of heaven and earth <gasps> what we refuse to believe build that wall build finish that wall <laughs> 
for Mormons, yes, they want to finish that wall so that they will not accept the brass plates translation that I'm putting forward, even though they'll get tricked into coming to the book uh, on Amazon when I'm finished, to my website when I'm finished, to this YouTube video and the finished version that I'll do a video of. Yeah, so it'll be tough for Mormons because everything that they've known and believed in, excuse me, uh, is going to come crashing down on them. But in my case, with what I'm doing, I'm putting in a replacement so that they don't go without anything. They don't go without hope because I am now giving them hope with the re-translation of the Egyptian documents to restore the Torah text. And uh, so Mormons will have options. And of course, they can refuse to believe, <laughs> which many will, and saying, you're not the president of the church. I'm going to wait for the president of the church to tell me what's true and what's not true. Okay. <laughs> have fun in your bubble uh, but uh, yeah this will this will give hope to Mormons so that they can say hey wait a minute what else is going on in the church now and that'll be the thing it's because they can fall back on these scriptures the Word of God and then take an honest look at what else the church has neglected what else the church has withdrawn from their understanding? What else the church has deceived and lied about? So that's my purpose for this. Yes, it's a different tactic than I've been doing, huh? So uh, this will be fun. Alrighty, so uh, let me get to it.